Hey everybody, I'm Folygon, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use mannequins for posing in ZBrush. First, click on Lightbox, go to your Projects, and click on Mannequins to open up that folder. In here there's a variety of mannequins to choose from, but I'll just be using the Mannequin Human Female. Double click on that to open up that project. And then you can just click on No, we don't need to save anything. So we have that loaded in now, I'm just going to turn on Perspective and turn off my Floor. Now, if you have symmetry on, you should be able to affect both sides of the mannequin at the same time, which you may or may not want to do depending on your pose. I think I'm going to start by turning off the symmetry for that, just by hitting the X key. So we have three different options up here for interacting with our mannequin. Move, scale, and rotate. Rotate will most likely be the one that you use the most, so let's start with that. You can rotate a limb by simply clicking on that limb and dragging it wherever you want it. Depending on the angle of your camera, you'll be able to rotate that at a variety of different angles. By clicking on one of these spheres, you can click and rotate that sphere around, and by clicking and holding, you can rotate the orientation at which that sphere rotates. That's really about it, but there's a lot of variety of rotations that you can make here to change your pose very quickly. But let's go ahead and look at a few of our other options so that we can start getting into those. Next up is scale, which is pretty self-explanatory. Clicking on a limb, you can scale that up, or by clicking on a sphere, you can scale up the limb surrounding that sphere. Lastly, let's look at move. Move works somewhat similar to rotate in a lot of instances. It doesn't go fully down the chain, and it also allows you to click and drag any of these Z spheres around. Those are the basics, and they should get you started and headed in a good direction. So let's start with rotate and start posing up our mannequin into something nice. Using only rotate, I'm going to start moving some of my limbs into position, and I think I'm going to go for a similar pose to the statue of David. So let's start by rotating our arms, and just getting those into a general quick position here. And we'll do the same thing with our legs. And I think you can see just how quick and kind of simple this really is. And we can test out a variety of different poses this way. Let's go ahead and get some rotation in our hips and our shoulders. The Statue of David is a great example of contrapposto posing. If you've never heard of contrapposto, it's an easy way to add some dynamism to your character's pose by countering the angle of the shoulders with the angle of your character's hips. So very quickly, I'll add some angle to the top of the body. I find that it's nice to kind of exaggerate a lot of this stuff while you're working on these mannequins. And let's get this leg pushing forward quite a bit more. And let's get the weight underneath this leg here. And if you want to affect the proportions of this figure, you can go ahead and do that pretty simply by using that scale feature. So if you want to beef up the arms, I think I'm more focused on just capturing the life of this pose, so we won't do that quite yet. All right, so there's our very simple Statue of David-esque pose. And this took all of one or two minutes to make. And like I said, this is a great way to kind of test out some different poses, come up with some new ideas for a character that you're working on, and just kind of experiment. If you'd like to use this and convert this to geometry that you can sculpt on, you can do that very simply over in your tool palette under Adaptive Skin. Click on that Make Adaptive Skin button. You can either use the classic skinning method or not. And that will create a new piece of geometry that you can switch to and begin sculpting on top of. If you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash folygon for more tutorials and all the tools that I use for my professional work. Give these mannequins a shot, play around with them and see what you can come up with, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.